back to Sackers. I'm so glad you joined me for another video. And if you're on this video, you've been searching for window decorations, projectors, or whatever you want to call them, holograms, and you've been wondering how to do it. So I'm going to show you how to do it, where to buy it, what I bought, all that good stuff. Here we go. Searched high and low for this. I found stuff for like $500, $300, and then I would do research like I always do and find out they really weren't really that great or worth that. And then I did uh, searches on here on YouTube and I couldn't find anything. I was really shocked about that. And so I just decided I'm gonna do a video on this, a really quick video, and I hope this helps you guys. If you're looking to do Atmos FX or holograms or whatever you're looking to do. I wanted to do this for Halloween and Christmas. I finally did it for Christmas. I found an amazing Black Friday deal on a projector for $55. Put that link down below. All the links to this are right down below. Next to the subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. Become part of the Zacchaeus family. It's free to do so. Cancel at any time and you'll get notified first when I put up great videos like this. But, and you can also hit that thumbs up. It really helps people know this is a great video. And, but the description is right beside that, right below this video. And you'll find all the links, all the links to my gear, all that kind of stuff. And then I had to find a screen. Now I will tell you this, it is hard to find a screen for your window, the right size, everything. They go out of stock fast. So if you're, if you're done for this Christmas, like in January, February, March, start buying your stuff because that you're going to get great deals for one thing and they'll be in stock around the beginning of october from what i understand some of them just go out of stock and they're, they're not coming back to the new year they just don't they just buy a certain amount and they sell them and they're, they're done um so it's crazy but i finally found one on amazon it's not quite tall enough but it works pretty good as you can see and um it's more of a gray because it does the more hologram i'm going to do some october halloween stuff but you can also do white it's fine it's not that big of a difference and basically you just it comes with four hooks and if you've watched my disc plate video you know i don't like to screw things into walls i like magnets i like uh 3m stickies i even got 3M on um, big pictures and frame pictures because I don't want to drill things in the wall and it's just easier to kind of position it, level it, pop it on there, and then when you want to take it off, it's easy to do. So with that in mind, the screen comes with 3M hooks. You get four hooks, two for the top, two for the bottom, to stretch that screen out over the window. And it's super easy. You just take the hook and at the top you want the hooks going up and at the bottom you want the hooks going down, you know, so you so the tension's right. And you just take the hook and you put the 3M tape on it, on the back, and you get up and put it into one of the corners at the top. And then you hook your screen on. It has these, these round hooks on it. You hook it onto the hook and you stretch it across so you know where to put the other one. So it's nice and tight. Not too tight because you don't want it, you don't want it pulling those, those off, but you want it stretched, you know, flat. You don't want it to have ripples in it. And then you put the other one on. And then you go down the bottom and you do the same thing. You put one on, stretch it out, put one on, stretch it out, put one on. And then you take the screen off because you want those to sit for a good two hours and really adhere to that wall. So I push down on all of them when I'm putting them on really tight for like 30 seconds, at least, at least. And then I take the screen off and I wait it for two hours. I do this with all my 3M stuff. So it really, really um gets bonded and it can take that tension all the stuff behind me is 3m2 just stuck to the wall so then once you get it up you just stretch it all out <clears throat> of course you need to move your blinds out of the way or your shades or whatever so the window's exposed and then you're going to set the projector down so it's projecting up so people when they're walking by won't see the light you don't want to put it up top or in the middle because then they'll, all they'll see is the, the light from the bulb so, and it doesn't matter if it's dead on or straight. It, trust me, it doesn't matter. It's not like a movie. So you just put it somewhere in the room at, at an angle down below the window. And then you, you'll, you know, turn, turn it on and get it set. Uh, most projectors will rotate. I had a tripod that turned sideways so I could, cause I have a vertical window. And then you just get it, you get it right. Kind of where you want it tilted or whatever. And then you go to all projectors now have photos and movies. Mostly you just choose movies 
And then if you don't have any um, effects to play, then you want to go to Atmos FX. They're the best. I've looked everywhere. That link is right below. I'm not affiliated with them, but they have amazing stuff and usually can find good deals. I bought a Christmas collection of Santa and his workshops and then a more Christian like stained glass window. And then I just downloaded those. They sell them. Most of them are vertical and horizontal, but you need to check that out before you buy them because there are some that aren't, but most of them have both options. And then you also have options like no background or window frames. If you have a big window that has no frame and maybe you want it to look like it has a frame, they give you a lot of different options. Once you pick your options that you want, say vertical, no background, get all those, you load them on a USB stick in the root directory, I would recommend. It's just a lot easier that you just copy just the ones you want into that root directory. Don't copy them all or you're gonna have a nightmare trying to figure out which one on the projector to play. You just want the ones you want. Then you take that USB stick and stick it into the projector. And when you click movie on your on your remote, you have a remote, you, you know, most projectors have remotes now. You're gonna click movie when you see it on the screen. It's gonna say, where do you wanna play the movie from? You're gonna choose USB and it's gonna show you those files and you just select all the ones you want and then you'll click the play button. And when you do that, it'll just play them in order and run them through all and then loop them. It'll just keep playing them until you turn the projector off. And that's, I mean, it's that simple. I know everywhere I looked made it sound a little bit more complicated or just wasn't, I don't know, not making it simple, but it's really, really simple. I popped the screen up in like 10 minutes, waited two hours, put the screen back up. Um, I positioned my projector just kind of haphazardly onto the thing and turned it on, rotated it because it was it was horizontal, rotated it, and then I had to flip it again because it was the wrong way. But you can do all that really easily in the in the settings. And then I just went into the thing, click play. I bought one just to test, so I played it, then I pulled it out, went over to my computer, bought the other ones, loaded it in, boom, boom, boom. Um, and it was just, it was super easy. And now several nights, it just runs. I run it like around dusk, 5.30 or so, till like 11. And anybody driving by, I've driven by and walked by it just to test it out. But it really is super cool. And it's it's one of those things you do more for your neighbors or for the kids in the neighborhood or whatever. Um, it's gonna be awesome at Halloween. But it's just a little, you know, a little something. You know, people walking by and they're like, oh, there's something in the window. Santa's, you know, building a tree or something, you know. So if you're into that, I hope this video helped you. I wanted to just do a quick and dirty fast video to show you how to do it because I couldn't find one and just to hopefully make it simpler because I I, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I think I'm at like $140 total. So I'll put those links right down below. Maybe that'll help you out and you can just like try it out. And remember with Amazon, I always use mostly use Amazon links. You can always return it if you don't, if it doesn't work for you, be sure Oh, be sure and measure your window. I didn't do that. I just assumed I knew my height and my window. Be sure and measure the, the height and width so you get the right screen for it. And also remember when you pull up your blinds or anything, you're gonna have some blockage at the top so you don't need the screen to go all the way up. So just keep that in mind. Um, I hope this helps you. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button now and the little bell beside it so you become part of the Zaka's Nation and You'll get notified first when I put up cool new videos like this and I've got tons of stuff, stuff for men. I've got tons of soap videos for men, beard washes for men, belts. I even put up my favorite water that I love. I've got connected home stuff, robot vacuums, and of course travel stuff. If you like to travel, I've got tons of tips on that because I've traveled so much and I'm just, I'm just here to, to give you honest reviews. I don't get paid for this. I'm not affiliated with anybody. I just want to help you out. And I hope that's what we're doing. I love seeing your beautiful face. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you have fun with your Christmas decoration window, projection window, or your Halloween or whatever you're doing. There's Easter ones, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. I hope you have a blast with it. Be sure and comment below if you have any questions and I will catch you in the next Zach's video. Peace.